I'm Jamie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to the trailer for series 5 of Ghosts, the final season. This came out like yesterday or the day before but I just haven't been able to actually like do this video so I've held off of watching it which has been torture but it's finally time to watch it. I am so excited. Obviously with this season some people have seen the first two episodes because there was an event on at the BFI. Unfortunately, I didn't go this time, which sucked, but it looked, it sounded amazing. But yeah, people have seen it the first two episodes, so I know it obviously goes without saying, but no spoilers in the comments. Um, I know everybody has been really good, like I've avoided any sort of spoilers, um, even when I'm like, looking on Twitter and stuff. Um, but obviously, as I'm reacting to things, like try to be careful not to confirm or deny anything I say because I'm going to be kind of like theorizing about what I think happens but yeah I know everyone's really good at keeping things spoiler free anyway but just thought I'd mention it um so yeah so I'm going to react into this trailer talking about some things that I think might happen um and things I'm excited for and yeah let's get straight into it it hasn't actually been uploaded officially onto YouTube I've seen it on Twitter like seen I haven't actually watched it on Twitter, but I've seen it on Twitter and on, I think it's been on TV, but um, big thanks to Yonder Ghost on uh, YouTube who has uploaded it for people to watch. Obviously, I'll leave it linked down below as well. Okay, let's go for it. Life's about to change. <laughs> okay, even in, I don't even know what to say so far. We've got Barkley in there. I wonder who he's going to be getting up to. Ooh, okay, interesting. Investigating the claim. This feels like it'll be episode one, um, just because it's kind of happened straight after uh, the, like, you know, that's how season four ended. So it makes sense that that will be the first episode. So it's been investigated. I wonder if that's where Barkley gets involved. It's, it seems like something he would do, uh, try and like get them done for something. Um, that's a small prediction there. Ooh, okay. Looking at selling stuff. That is probably what's going to... I mean, this plot line for the whole series is going to, them trying to work out what happens. So working out what they're going to be able to sell. So maybe it's like a... They've got to sell the whole thing or nothing. That's quite stressful. Oh, Ooh, lovely stuff. So we've just got... That is Kitty with her sister there. So we've got Kitty backstory, which I... In fact, that was what I was really hoping for. Like one of the main things I was hoping for. And we've got Humphrey with his head on. Is that another Humphrey flashback, maybe? Or maybe he's just got his head on for some reason. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Oh, no. The head fell off at the end. Right. And we just got the captain. Captain backstory. That is what I was hoping for. Um, by the looks of the flags, it looks like it'd be a celebration. So people were theorising that maybe he goes back to Button House uh, for, like, a post-war, like, award thing or, like, a you know, kind of acknowledgement of their efforts in the war kind of thing, or like a reunion for soldiers that were all there. Maybe we'll get Havers and Captain reuniting. Oh God, that, yeah, that's exciting. Um, um Yeah, that's, oh, that's gonna be a sad episode. Oh God. Oh my God, have we got another ghost moving on? No, no. Oh, that looks like what it is. Oh, okay. That makes me nervous. Okay, that's quite an interesting shot. The midnight shot. I wonder if something... What would happen at midnight? Okay, there's a lot going on in that. Um, so from straight away, we've got a kitty backstory and we've got the captain backstory. Hopefully finding out kind of what happens to do with their death because they're the only two unexplained so far. So with kitty, I think the main theory is we've got her poisoning, which she did just say in this trailer that she f feels like she's going to be sick. So I definitely think that is edging up to be the strongest theory because that fits into kind of everything we've had so far. And the captain going back for a reunion thing. I'm going to rewatch it again to see if there's anything I didn't notice because I was pausing it a lot uh, during that. So I'll go back again and rewatch it and come back with some comments and little things that I think might happen. Um, I might also then read the synopsis for the first episode because it was released, but again, I've held off on watching it because of reading it because I wanted to kind of go in blind for this video. Um, okay, right, rewatching it again. So I've just rewatched it. There are a couple of little things things I was gonna say and they've I think they've definitely kept this trailer a lot more vague than they did with series four obviously with series four with the big thing that happened that there's not really any major hints in that in the in, in the trailer 
but we had a lot more hints to do with like individual episodes whereas this one it looks like they've kept it kind of vague and like apart from the fact that there is the like captain backstory and kitty back kitty backstory um but yeah there is this little clip with robin with somebody moving on so i don't it's looking kind of old and dusty so my i'm leaning towards this as maybe a bit more like robin backstory because it seems a bit too dated for like the modern time that they're in so maybe it's like looking back on seeing like how many people robin has seen move on like maybe again maybe one of the ghosts do move on and it's again kind of like robin reflecting on that and like how many people he's seen come and go one of the theories i had was or that other people had as well not just me was that robin is the only ghost left that he is the only one that won't move on which would be so sad if that is true but i guess that could kind of link to it again just like kind of like a little like montage of all the ghosts that he's seen that he's befriended and they've come and go and it's just like it'd be sad but it'd be a really interesting episode again it's mainly just looking like the ghost is having a lot of fun and Alison and mike worrying about money which is quite a lot um which has happened quite a lot wonder yeah with barclay I definitely think he might be involved in the insurance thing. I'm very excited for Kitty's one. That looks cool with the whole thing about the pineapple, that being like a symbol of like, of like royalty, like it's a very noble thing to have. It's like, you, it showed that you were really rich. Maybe she's allergic to pineapple. Maybe it's something like they have this pineapple and it's, she really wants to eat it or something. And they're like, no, you can't eat it because we want it to be like a symbol of wealth. Cause I can remember that being a thing in horrible histories where they had, they were talking about the whole thing is about pineapples being this symbol that they just didn't, they didn't eat it. They would just be left to rot. So that could be what it is. Maybe she really wants to eat it and either she's allergic to it um, or something like that. That might be how Kitty goes. That would be sad. <laughs> but I think that would be quite an interesting one. I feel like, you know, just with the emphasis of the pineapple being right there. That is my leading theory so far with Kitty. Um, the captain, again, nothing really hinting towards him the banners say victory which yes it shows that everyone's kind of right on it being a post a post-war kind of yeah celebration or something with the little clip with robin i'm going back to the robin clip again but you've got the clip of robin with obviously something being moved on him saying one of us going whoosh and then uh julian saying going out with a bang or something like that so it's definitely they're definitely hinting that somebody's moving on but i don't know who it is um, i don't know who it would be um, I'm interested to see what the whole thing with Humphrey is though. I love when Humphrey gets involved. And then there's this whole thing with the midnight because they've really put an emphasis on that clock being like the last thing. And it's like midnight. I don't know, that's stumping me that. I don't know, like a lot of the shots they've used um, seem very like purposeful. And the last shots, them all with their eyes closed, looking nervous for something. Oof. They're definitely, it's looking suspenseful, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm just going to like look at the synopsis for the episode one, see if that gives me any clues. So the first episode is called Fools. Again, if you don't want to hear stuff about the first episode, then I guess stop watching. Um, but I'm going to read the synopsis for episode one. Um, and it says, Mike approaches Alison to discuss their finances following the loss of their B&B business, which is expected. However, Alison is more preoccupied with plotting revenge on the ghosts for April Fool's Day, oh, that's fun, and recruits a playful Humphrey to execute her plans. But who will prove the hardest to fall? That sounds like a really, really fun episode to start off with. Oh, I cannot wait. I wonder what they did to make her so dedicated on revenge. Meanwhile, Mike is shocked to find someone from their insurance company on his doorstep, an unannounced visitor to check the details of the gatehouse fire. Can Mike really con convince her that a lightning that lightning really can strike thrice. Okay, so that's what I said. I, th I said the insurance episode would probably sounded like the first one, um, which definitely makes sense. But yeah, that sounds like a really fun episode to start off with. They're really good with starting off the season. Um, so yeah, that, I'm very excited. They haven't got anything up for all the other episodes, which, which makes sense. But yeah, that sounds like a really good episode. I can't wait for that. I know people have seen it. Some people have seen it already. Um, I've seen people say who, who did see the first two episodes that, they are like incredible and this could be like the best season that they've done. So that is exciting. But yeah, like I said, this sounds like a really fun way to start the um, start the series. One thing that I do, that I've only just noticed is that we do have a clip of Mike in the dark and then Barkley in the dark. So I wonder if we're gonna have like another like haunted, like happenings in the night kind of episode. Cause again, I've said this before, but 
my the bump in the night episode is one of my favorite ones i love it so much um so hopefully you've got a bit more of like mike interacting with the ghosts or um maybe they're trying to like haunt barkley maybe as like we're like mm, no i don't think they'd have kind of two revengey episodes i'm trying to think how else would barkley get involved in stuff like what he's always causing trouble so what would it what else would he try to do maybe he tries to buy it maybe he sees that they're like in like financial struggle and tries to buy the house and they try and like do what they did to Alison, try and haunt him out of it maybe oh i don't know there's lots of stuff that could be there well i know like barclay does he did talk about the like the gray lady ghost didn't he so maybe he tries i don't know maybe he gets into ghost hunting or something i don't know there's lots of stuff that it could be i'm very excited okay i think I'm going to end the video there because I'm just going to keep rambling about random stuff. But yeah, so strongest theories. I think Kitty might die by eating the pineapple. And we're going to go with Kitty backstory. Definitely getting a captain backstory. Hopefully a death story as well. So we kind of know what happens. And potentially a ghost moving on, which makes me very, very nervous. As long as they, it happens in the last episode, I'll be fine. Because it, like it's going to be sad anyway whenever a ghost moves on but i'd rather it happens later on just so we get more of that ghost in the, in the season if that makes sense like if they're gonna move on at least give us as much as that ghost as possible please because i that's the main thing about like mary it's like it was such a sad episode but i just like you we miss her character so much as well i know obviously it was like a scheduling conflict kind of thing it wasn't just that they wanted the ghost to move on like it was just, it was just really sad that we don't have her anymore. Like the episode was sad in and of itself, like very, very sad. But yeah, but it, oh, I really don't want want to move on. But anyway, yeah, that I think is going to be the end of the video because I'm just going to get sad about one of the ghosts moving on, and we don't know if it is any of any of like our ghosts yet. But yeah, I think that's it. If you like this video, please give it a like and comment down below your thoughts on the trailer. Again, I put it in the description if you haven't seen it yet. And yeah, subscribe and see more videos to do of ghosts. I am going to be doing weekly ghost episodes. Hopefully I'm planning it so I can, but there might be some things that mean they come out a bit late. But yeah, I'm going to be putting out weekly reviews of each episode because it's the final and I want to talk about ghosts as much as I can because I'm very sad that it's ending. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.